Hi, this is Sharon. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be making the granny squares to go along with our bucket hat. And I told you in the last video that I was making the hat to match my bag, not thinking that I was showing the bag on Instagram that I hadn't shown it in the video. So this is the bag that I had made and I lined the inside of it. So I can get a good angle here to show you. I'm going to have to use two hands, so excuse the view for a minute. So I just lined it with some canvas that I had, and these straps were old straps that I had in my stash for a long time. Uh, the pattern for this bag can actually be found from um, Crochet with Tiffany Hansen, and I'll link the video for this bag in case you're interested in making it. Um, her bag, she used blue instead of red, and I think she used brown. Her colors were different, but I went with the black, red, and white, and gray. And I think for my hat, I'm going to be doing, instead of the white, I'm going to do gray, black, and red, because there's only three layers to this uh, granny square instead of the five layers that are in the bag. So are you ready to start your granny squares? Let's get going. Just a reminder that we are using the Yarnspirations Flower Power Crochet Bucket Hat as a guide to make this hat. I did not um, use the motif that they show in the pattern. I'm going to be making a regular granny square for mine. If you want to follow along exactly the way they do it in the pattern, that's fine. You do what you like. Um, I finished my top and as I said I did it in black and I left a long tail to seam onto the granny square ring that we're going to be make that we're going to be making. Okay so now we're ready to make our granny squares. So I'm going to be starting with a slip knot and you don't need to leave a long tail because you're going to be crocheting right over that and then chain three. Ah, wrong way for me. One, two, three. And then you're going to go into that third chain. So one, two, three. And with a slip stitch, connect to a circle. And now you have a circle to crochet into and I'm going to chain three, and this chain three will count as my first double crochet. So to make a double crochet, you wanna yarn over, go into that circle, try to hold your tail, it's a little finicky at the beginning, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that is your second double crochet. And now here's our third. And we're going to be making four sets of three double crochets. So now that I have my three, I'm going to chain two and make my second cluster of three double crochets. So that's one. This will be two, and three, and now we have two clusters of three, chain two, make our third cluster, one, two, three. So now we have three clusters of three, chain two, one, two, and our third, one, our fourth, I'm sorry, two, three, and now we need to chain two and connect to the 
third chain from our chain three. Make sure that you have both loops and connect with a slip stitch. Chain one, cut your yarn. Pull that out, squish that down. And now we have our first motif and whatever's left of that tail can be cut off in the back. For now, we'll just leave it. So now I'm going to do the second part of this motif. So I'm going into this corner and slip stitch to join. And now that also counts as my first chain one. So I need to chain two more. And that again counts as our first double crochet. So I need two more. One, two. And this reminds me, as you can see, I'm crocheting over my tail, um, which is fine. But just to give you a little um, warning of lesson learned on my end, I had made a granny square blanket and I crocheted over my tails and I thought that that would be good enough to hold them in. And it's not that I don't mind that I don't like weaving. I don't mind weaving in tails, but I thought that crocheting over the tails would be good enough to hold them in. And just from the daily use of the blanket, washing it, having the dogs laying on it, and my husband wrapping himself up in it, um, those little buggers ended up wiggling out and they have to be tucked back in. So um, I learned from the next couple things that I made, which was the granny square bag and now making this hat, I've learned to weave in my tails and not just crochet over them. So it's fine to crochet over them like this. And then I'm gonna take this end and weave that in when I finish up my square. So just a little lesson that I learned the hard way Hopefully you can learn from that. So now I want to go into my next corner. And as I had said before in my Granny Square video, um, I learned from Krista from The Secret Yarnery. So if you like to do a chain in between your corners to cover this motif, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. Um, I like the way that she does it where she just skips right over and goes right into her um, double crochets. So that's what I'll be doing. So I'm just jumping right over, excuse my clock, making three double crochets, two, three, and then because it's a corner, I need to chain two, move that down, and now another cluster of three double crochets. And now I'm coming to another corner. So again, I'm just gonna jump right over and do my next cluster of three. That's one, two, three. And again, chain two and do my next cluster of three. Next corner, cluster of three, two, oops. three, slide that down, chain two. Another cluster of three, and now I'm back to the beginning and I'm going to complete this corner because I only did my cluster of three, which is actually my second cluster of three. So now I need to do the first cluster of three. One, two, 
two, three, chain two, and I'm going to join to the third chain. That's there we go. The slip stitch, chain one to secure. Put my yarn, pull that through, push that down, and now we have our second motif. Put these tails to the back. Now we have our second motif. And now I'm going to do, or the second part of the motif, now the third part. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to get both strands. There we go. Now I can draw up my tail. One, two. So now that's a chain three that counts as my first double crochet. One, two, three. And now I'll complete this corner when I come back to the end. So now I don't have a corner to go to. I have a center here. So the center always gets a um, cluster of three. That's one, two, three. And now I'm coming up to a corner again. So I need to do a cluster of three, chain two, cluster of three. So that's two. Three, chain two, one, two, three, and now I come to another center. So I'm going to do another cluster of three double crochets. One, two, three, and now I'm in a corner. So once again, cluster of three, chain two, cluster of three. There's two, there's three, chain two, One, two, three, and now I come to another center, so that gets a cluster of three. One, two, three, and now I'm coming to another corner. So again, I'm going to do cluster of three, chain two, cluster of three, two, three, chain two, and my next cluster of three, two, three, and now I'm coming up to my last center, which gets another cluster of three. One, I think I'm boring Zoe. Two, three, and now I'm coming back to my first one, and I need, since this is a corner, I need to do cluster of three. One, two, three, chain two, and I'm going to connect 
at to the top of my chain three with a slip stitch, chain one to secure, cut, and I need to make, I need to have six of these, so I need to make five more, and then I'll show you how to connect these into a circle to make the next part of the hat. So please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.